Okay, so we're going to get into the buffing here. Uh, there's a couple compounds I've used over the years. This Finesset uh, 2 is, is, is quality stuff by 3M. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I switched over to this guy, this Wizards, because I saw it in the auto parts store and they have just really great products for cleaning. I, I think this gives me a little bit better buff. Every once in a while, I'll... Uh, do a final buff with wax. So there's a couple things. Um, this is the pad that I use. I use two of these uh, um, these pads that are uh, half inch thick. That gives me a one inch. I tried going wider. It doesn't make it any better um, for what I do. I put online that uh, in a guitar finishing forum that. I ran the last pads a little bit long, so when they get like this, it's, uh, I don't think they buff as well, so I was really super happy with how this last one buffed. So I used a couple products. Um, this, this big can doesn't show what it is anymore, but this was a conditioner that I used, and the can broke, so there's a cleaner that goes in here. So what I'll do is uh, spray a little bit on there. So that's the cleaner to start. And I'll just take a uh, towel, kind of get the goop off of it. There's not as much on here, but this towel was used like those big blobs that gets on the pad, and it's just kind of nasty. I'm gonna turn it a little orange color or a purple color. I don't think that'll matter. Hit it with the conditioner. Um, shut that off for now so I, I set this up to match this spec on the stew mac i think it's 1700 rpm so you just kind of pick your uh two pulley sizes and it's uh i think five horse electric motor no big deal it's lasted forever it uh going over here to uh i mentioned before i like to do this stuff before i take a shower so i got one of these uh masks that i do not take this from a medical supply house. I had this guy well ahead of time. So I, I'll use this to, uh, this mask to keep off uh, my face because this stuff just plows into your face. And then I'm gonna take off my good glasses and use my uh, shop glasses because these are gonna get, even with the mask, still, still covered in uh, goop. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna put the uh, camera up here. Oops. wrong way uh, I think that's going to be a decent view like that it doesn't turn out it doesn't turn out we'll do what we can do so uh, give it a shot so then before I get the wheel going so I usually start here in this spot because the pad has to get warmed up a little bit the way the shine on these things works is it's actually heating up the clear coat and then it melts it back together. And if uh, we do it right, then uh, it'll be like a very shiny finish. So I'm wiping this down because I did clean out this neck pocket, the goop off of it a little bit with a router. I'll do another video on that later. Um, so that, that'll be good. So I'll, I'll kind of warm it up in here a little bit and I, I used to do the front and then the back but now I kind of do the sides as I do the front you want to be careful with the uh, the spots that have this thin cavity underneath um, if water got absorbed into your wood and you go to buff it'll tend to pucker out so the thing that I found that has been really wonderful on that was putting super glue on the back of that and the front of that before we even do the prep and it keeps that part of the wood sealed and that problem has gone away. So I have a, 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 a text you know, blog that talks about that. So uh, I'll, I'll show some of that when I do some preps. If I, uh, if the coronavirus goes on long enough, you'll have videos of everything. So, um, but um, we'll, we'll see on that. So.
usually I go a little more than that before I stop. I want to show you guys how much this guy shines. So, you know, there you go. Um, you know, that is a final uh, spot in there. So this shows here how I, I just barely touched it with the wheel. So that will all buff out. And you can kind of see how I only came close to these edges here because um, I, I don't want to buff over the edge. So I work my way out and it usually looks pretty good, but it goes from that look of just this dull to this like super shiny. So it's pretty gnarly. I'll do another round so you guys can watch. Take a look at that. Um, nothing out of the ordinary on this one so far. Um, so I keep a pretty okay body position. I am always tending to hunch over in general because I'm working on guitars and working on the computer, playing guitar. But um, I have a better position when I'm doing this. When I'm doing the edges, I bend over. The idea is this horn. You don't want too close to your private areas because if this thing catches out of my hand and twists and hits me in the private area, I'm going to drop your guitar on the ground and start crying. It's just what's going to happen. So that, that's the concern there. Um, but this edge looks pretty good. Um, I just started doing the edges when I did the fronts because then when I get the back done, I'm closer to being done than started. But... This is not the greatest lighting in here, so we're gonna maybe turn this guy sideways. Let's see what we got over there. The uh, see if we can get a little shine on there. And I, I kind of took a double take when I hit this spot. I was like, "Ooh, I scratched it," but nope, that's part of the blue, so that's good. So we got a little bit of haze in here. Not sure if it's showing up on the camera or not. So I'll hit that again with. Uh, a little more compound but you can see how i worked this area twice and now that's pretty much d-o-n-e done and i just work around the rest the back has less spots in the front and we're i don't know quarter of the way through so that's what we got so this one's going to be uh ready to ship today so 
That'll be good. Get another one uh, off to a happy customer, hopefully.